Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, if you watched the last video, you know I was uh, prepping these batteries to tie into parallel. And we charged this one up fully uh, with the Victron charger and ran out of time. And then the next day uh, did exactly the same with this one back here, which is the original battery. But I brought it up to a, a completely full charge as well. And then tied these in parallel, which is negative to negative, positive to positive, to make one 12 hour, uh, excuse me, one 12 volt, 600 amp hour battery. Uh, these are 300 amp hours a piece. Now that they're tied in parallel, it is one 600 amp hour battery. So, got a big storage of power now. Take the uh, positive off of one end and the negative off of the other end and have run it up to the bus bars and I will show you that. So once you have these uh, connected in parallel like that, take the, uh, got the positive going up to a 300 amp breaker up to a couple of bus bars into the inverter of course the negative back there going up here into the inverter uh, I decided to go ahead and wall mount uh, that Victron charger and as you can see I've got this uh, positive coming off of there going into a 50 amp breaker uh, thank you Robert for suggesting that I was just going to tie those leads straight into the uh, bus bars there you can see the negative going down to the uh, negative bus bar and he suggested uh, putting in a 50 amp breaker which I had uh, I, I love that idea so now I'm just going to uh, cut a smaller uh, length wire to uh, just use as short as possible as a wire to go from that breaker down to that bus bar. Uh, he has suggested uh, having the ability to manually disconnect if, if need be for safety. I love that idea and I, I thank you kindly, Robert, for that suggestion. And I thank all of you that have given me a lot of great helps along, uh, helpful tips along the way. So, uh, one of the other things I did was I had a, uh, those two smaller gauge wires uh, that came with the inverter hooked in here to this bus bar. And I've been waiting on another one aught cable so I could be uh, everything the same. The positive and the negative being the exact same gauge and uh, manufacturer. So that delayed me a few days waiting for that. I've got that. I was wondering if that would change the uh, output voltage. As you can see, it's still running at uh, 123 in there, and that's what it has always been running. And it's working just fine. I was wondering if that would maybe drop it back down to 120. It, it never did. So everything's working just fine. Uh, one of the things you do when you uh, reconfigure everything or add some amp hours is you have to reset your battery monitor at, and show it what 100% full is at 600 uh, amp hours. So I, once I was fully charged, I reset that from the old 300 to tell the battery monitor what 600 amp hours is at full. And you can see it's cruising in about 90% full right now. You also have to do the same thing up here on your charge controller using the MT50. You have to go in there and uh, change the size of your battery bank so it knows what you're running. So I reconfigured that reconfigure the battery monitor and now everything's just running absolutely perfect still 
I'm going to drop uh, this charge controller down a little bit, give me a little more slack and so I can fasten everything up here nice and tight. So it's all coming together, it's all up and running. Fantastic. Just one more short wire there and then I'll have my uh, charge controller, or, I'm sorry, the charger uh, in place to use as needed. I'm hoping not to use that very much. This is all in preparation for uh, the bigger project, which is going to be to hardwire here and run a line out to run a, a full-size electric refrigerator. Going to be looking for the most efficient one of those we can find. And that's what we're built for now. Um, so, <laughs> just wanted to bring a, a short update to what it's looking like, but there it is. That's the 600 amp hour battery bank now, uh, running perfectly. I did get up to a full charge with it all connected up like this yesterday. <clears throat> I let it run on its full charge and balance all of the cells. One of the questions I have that uh, somebody may know out there and since these both have a BMS in there, uh, I don't understand how the BMSs communicate with each other, if one is dominant and just kind of takes over, or if they just work in harmony as well. I know lots of people are tying these up in series or parallel, as with other brands. That's just a question I was thinking about. I really don't know the answer. I'm sure one of you guys will, and will. Uh, keep me informed on that. So yeah, just a quick update on what she's looking like now. Very happy. I'll be back in a few days probably with the hard wire. Thinking about running 12 gauge off that hard wire uh, junction. Uh, 14 or 12 I'm thinking since it's going to be a, a refrigerator tied into there I'll go with 12. I'll be interested to see what you guys think. And there we go. Looking good. Very happy. Four months in on running these, uh, the original battery back there. Four months, not a single problem. Loving the Chins battery. Super thrilled about having the second one tied in now and having the, the storage uh, to run that fridge. And then I'll be playing catch up with adding some solar panels because I'll be a little light on... Uh, that for a little while, but should be okay. All right, everybody have a great day. Just a quick follow-up. Aloha.